G'day and welcome to another edition of Hef's Beer Reviews. Today I'm reviewing another beer from Cupid's Estate, which is in Ulladulla on the New South Wales South Coast. It's this beer here, it's their Milton Pilsner. Milton, of course, is another town in the Ulladulla region. It comes in this 375ml can, 4.8% is the ABV, so 1.4 standard drinks in this 375ml can. Quite fond of a Pilsner. As I've said before, so let's crack her open. Whoa! Into this 375... Not into this 375ml glass, into this Pilsner glass. That is a very active beer. As Swill and Grog would say, that Jez would say. We've uh, had some spillage. Never mind. It's not too bad. Let's take a look at the appearance. Uh, plenty of carbonation there. It's a nice straw colour. Um, yeah, that's it, it's pretty clear. It's not crystal clear. There's just a, a very slight haze to it. And we've got uh, a good two or three fingers of white head aroma. Yeah, it's, it's a nice malty aroma. It's some... Um, yeah, there's a little bit of hot presence. Um, it, it almost smells like Pride of Ringwood though, which is not what you'd expect at all. All right, let's see how it tastes though. Cheers. No, it's not Pride of Ringwood. Not in the taste. Light to medium body. Very refreshing. Um, reasonably crisp, although not overly so. Not a whole lot of bitterness to speak of. Um, I'd expect a bit more from a Pilsner. It's a little bit of, of, uh, of dryness on the back end. Yeah, I, I can't quite put my finger on on the the hop flavours. It's certainly that nice multi backbone. Uh, what do we say here? Cold fermented German lager yeast, but New World hops for a subtle twist. Mm. Certainly, it, it does have a little bit of that German Pilsner uh, taste to it. Of course, that would come from the yeast. Um, but I'm not really getting any New World hops like that. To me, uh, other examples of New World Pilsners or New Zealand Pilsners... Um, I mean, they've they've had more of a, a citrusy or, or fruity taste to it. That head sticking around, which is nice. Um, I guess there's a there's a bit of herbal herbal flavour there. It's not your um, certainly not your traditional noble hop flavours. There's no grassiness. Um, yeah, I guess it's, it's just a bit of a herbal flavour. Looks certainly sessionable at 4.8%. Uh, Price point came in a mixed four pack, uh, as I said on the previous one. This, a, uh, it was a, a session ale, there's a pale, and there's an IPA. Can't remember how much they cost. Um, I'm guessing, uh, I'm guessing you're probably paying around seven or eight dollars, uh, but don't quote me on it. I, I haven't looked it up. Uh, let's give it a score out of five. It's not a bad beer. Uh, there's not really anything wrong with it. There's certainly nothing offensive about it. It is sessionable. It is refreshing. Uh, it's pretty clean. 
and, and reasonably crisp also, but there's nothing really that makes it stand out. Uh, it's not a traditional Pilsner, uh, as I've said, and as it says on the can, it says it's got a New World twist to it. Um, but, you know, other examples that I've had from craft brews that are doing New World Pilsners, they've really been a bit bolder in, in the flavours uh, that they've pushed through from the hop additions and this beer isn't really providing that so although I don't mind it and there's nothing wrong with it in fact there are some good qualities about it um, I'm going to give it a three a three out of no three and a half I'll give it a three and a half out of five for Cupid's Estate Milton Pilsner not a bad beer um, certainly if you're in that part of the world somewhere worth checking out Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time on Hef's Beer Reviews.